Hey, what's up everybody, How to Tech here, and we're going to go ahead and reassemble this Samsung Galaxy S7, starting with our home button. We'll go ahead and take this and put it through this slot in the middle of the midframe, and line the cable up all the way back down, and putting the home button on top of the adhesive that's already there, be a little bit of sticky residue left over, uh, which we'll use to adhere the home button back down. Just using our spudger just to tap it down just a little bit, Make sure it's got a good solid sill for when we put our glass screen on. It doesn't want to pop back up. Now with that done, we can go ahead and start on our charge port. You see that we still have a little bit of adhesive on this as well. We're going to insert this charge port wing through the mid frame of the phone. And then lay the charge port back down in its slot in the back of the mid frame. Line the charge port back up with the bottom of the housing. And insert the wing on the opposite side into the phone. We'll go ahead and put our two screws in on opposite sides of the charge port. Now go ahead and fold them over. There should be enough residual adhesive to hold these down. Just make sure you have them in the correct slots. There's a couple cutouts that fit around the buttons. We'll use this VHB tape to help us adhere the screen. I'll put the links to this down in the description of the video. We're using the one millimeter on the thin sides of the phone. It's going to be slightly tricky to apply. You want to get it as close to the side of the bezel as possible without actually going up the side of the phone. To get a solid seal on the display when we put it back in. Using our spudger, you can see that it pulled off the side, so we're going to pull up just a little bit. And a better way to adhere this onto the midframe is to push down in steps. Make sure you cut it to length. We don't want any warping or wrinkles in the tape. Go ahead and just slightly cut the original strips to fit and don't cover up any of the holes on the phone. So the camera opening, the speaker, proximity sensors, all need to be left uncovered for the phone to function properly. There's a little gray grommet right to the left of the earpiece speaker, make sure that's open. And here's how I applied the adhesive to the bottom of the phone. Put two strips on either side of the battery, a little bit closer towards the side of the display. You can go ahead and start peeling the backing off of the adhesive. Now with all of that removed, you can go ahead and take the display and put it back in. Make sure you put the display ribbon cable all the way through the slot. Line up the top corner, the earpiece, grill, and then work your way towards the bottom. Now you want to make sure the home button fits in properly. If need be, use a tool to slide it to the side, make sure it functions properly, and then adhere the screen down on the sides of the phone. We'll go ahead and put our 3.5mm headphone jack back in. And it wants to spring back out, so you may have to hold it down with your finger to insert it back into the correct slot. Put the screw in to retain this. Go ahead and Connect the connection for the headphone jack. Put in the vibration module. We'll put in the volume up, volume down buttons. The bracket may have fallen out. There'll be a little cutout. Make sure you put it in with the space facing downwards on the left and right side. Then we can go ahead and put the button back in with the curved portions of the button facing inwards.
Make sure the buttons function properly. We'll go ahead and do the same thing with the power button if it was removed also. Go ahead and put the proximity sensor in. Make sure you use your spudger to help push it into its slot and the adhesive back down. Put our earpiece speaker in. Making sure the adhesive on the front side of it is nice and flat. Now we can go ahead and attach our logic board to the phone itself. Then lay it down, making sure none of the cables are underneath it. And go ahead and start attaching the cables to the phone. Make sure you don't miss any, so we'll need the home button, power button, the display cable, which is an awesome display, and we'll talk about that in just a few seconds. We'll put down the earpiece speaker and the proximity sensor. Sometimes it can be a little bit tricky. Don't be too overly forceful with them. The volume button. We'll try that proximity sensor one more time. There we go. We also need to make sure we put in the front facing camera. Can't leave this little guy out. Put the battery. Make sure you've flattened it back out if it was bent in any way and removing it. Connect it to the phone as well. Put our little wire connections on. Red goes in the bottom right hand side of the phone and to the connection closest to the battery on the logic board. We'll then put our gray cable in. It goes right above the charge spot and then to the furthest left side of the phone. Make sure you put them in and then put the gray cable then rev cable on top through the guide slots. Go ahead and put our rear plastic housing on and insert the screws for the bottom portion first. Next is the portion that has the wireless charging mat on it. Slide it in and down and put the screws in it also. And then connect the top portion and snap it back in place and put the screws back in also. Next step is to go ahead and test your phone. Do not skip the step. Now this display I got from E-Trade Supply, this thing is OEM 100% Gorilla Glass 4. Original AMOLED that comes in the Samsung devices. Those guys are awesome. I'm going to do a separate video on just the display itself. Check that out. I'll throw it down in the description. We'll put the gold pot at the end of the rainbow because we're getting so close back down here at the bottom of the phone. Put our adhesive back onto the back of the device using the larger portion. You can use either 2 or 3 millimeter adhesive. We want to put a nice solid layer on this phone. Put a strip down here at the top of the charge port area. Make sure the tape is not overlapping. A little extra up here at the top corner of the phone. Want to make sure that back feels solid. And if you're not using the original adhesive on this phone, then you're probably not going to be gaining that IP68 water reading back. Something to keep in mind, but on the bright side, you will have a display that will not be slicing open your fingers. We're just going to put a little bit down here in just the corners. I find it easy just to kind of cut it straight and then put it on the side here. Still get a solid adhesive point, but we're not going to spend a decade trying to cut it to fit. Go ahead and peel all the adhesive back off the rear of the device. Put our glass back on. Line up the top corners first, and then the bottom corners next. Push them in, make sure they're in tight, and then work your way towards the middle of the phone. Just slide your fingers around it, make sure you get a nice tight sill all the way around the device. And there you have it, that is a fully functional Samsung Galaxy S7, fully repaired. Make sure you close your eyes while I punch in my code, and just test your phone one more time. As always, thanks for watching, catch you on the next one, peace.